Hello, welcome back to my channel. You're probably not here for this kind of content, but I don't care. Harry, how you doing today? Doing good. All right, well, let's get into it, I guess. Obviously, the Switch logo. So right off the bat, we see these kind of like weird little like eye floaters, I guess. I don't know what to call them. Um, so this kind of looks like the Shrine of Resurrection. It definitely looks like a shrine. It's but... not the Shrine of Rex Re Resurrection. Um, no. This is like a demonic trailer. Like, if I say so myself, like, it's pretty... I mean, there's a lot to dissect here, because, like, we're not sure if that green stuff is coming out of, if that's a source, if it's coming out of, or going into... I mean, it looks like it's coming out of, I guess, but I'm not, you know, we don't know. Is that like, is it like singing? Like, Which way is it moving? Like they could be, right. I mean, it looks like they're, yeah. It looks like it's moving out of the... Yeah, okay, so it's coming out. Yeah, and there's all this, this dark in and uh, yeah, matter. It all, I mean, it almost looks like it's spitting like runes out. Like those are the physical embodiment of whatever noise it's producing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It kind of, they kind of look like symbols almost, but yeah. Well, let's keep watching. Um, all right, so right away we have some uh, wall art over here, some paintings. That, what does it look we like? We got a guy holding a trident. Okay. My money. Wait, if you go back just a little bit, uh, like just a little bit more before the torch is covering him all the way. I mean, look at that. Look at that smile. <laughs> I think that that is Gandorf or or Ganon or someone similar to him that's that guy is definitely not good what's interesting is you see a trident and that's present in the in the zora um oh yeah and but it does definitely look like it doesn't look like a zora you've also got something it's more faded all the way off to the right like drawing a bow i can't uh -huh. really make out in the lower right corner yeah right there yeah Somebody, like, definitely yeah. someone drawing a bow i don't know who or what that is but is it the good guys or the bad guys all we know they're kind of riding on horses and it yeah. it, could, it kind of looks like a gerudo it looks like a female oh. you can see the ponytail yeah and that would make if it was again it would make sense considering you know he was raised with the gerudo mm -hmm. that would be interesting if they had a tie to him in like in a physical form not this crazy you know beast form that he is in breath of the wild um well something a little more humanoid yeah yeah uh especially if that was tied to the gerudo which is interesting but then there's this trident so like what what do we even make about that um I, yeah what about this symbol right here is that the gerudo symbol it's not exactly i not yeah i'm not 100 percent. i don't know if that is specifically a symbol or if it's just the body armor that he's wearing uh-huh yeah it's, it's a little hard to tell with the torch it like is. right there well let's keep the torch moving it definitely does look like that lower right is gerudo it also looks like we have some other person with a bow and a horse on the top right yeah um, Definitely get Twilight Princess vibes from this trailer. I mean, I'm, I'm personally vibes, getting some but... Majora mask, Majora's Mask vibes, because, and I'll talk about that more later. But definitely see this predominant. Oh, there it goes. Um, trident. So now we definitely got a closer up on that spiral. Um, what is in the middle? I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't answer that for you. I, I don't know. You can't tell from this angle. Well, let's go back just a frame. It kind of... It's probably that dead lady that comes up. Or guy. I couldn't really tell. Later. That's probably... Like, Whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Kind of looks like a re-dead. So what's interesting right here... It looks like the two have been kind of going on this adventure or something. They're clearly deep in some caverns underground somewhere does this confirm where that is full dungeons i don't know it could Ooh, i didn't think through that yeah it that'd could. be cool um they're looking around there's this rat again jumping around you'll see more of the rat later um so yeah it looks like they're just chilling at this lake there's some ruins um They've got a bunch of stuff, so they're definitely on some kind of quest. They've been gone for a while, it looks like. Um, this is an interesting like way to like present a new Zelda game. 
for sure. I don't think I've seen something exactly like it's a sequel, so it's different. We haven't seen a Zelda sequel since, I mean, if you're not counting Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass, um, like a full Zelda title sequel since like Majora's Mask. Yeah. So this is interesting. I don't really it, know the reveal for Majora's Mask, so. The way they're presenting this, they definitely are trying to make it as different as possible from Breath of the Wild while still being set in the same world. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's different vibes. that's what I'm curious about because we see later on that there's the whole world, but the same world. But we'll see. Um. So yeah, it looks like they're just chilling, drinking Zelda's drinking some water. We got some rats. But then we got this. Oops, that's a little glitch. In the video. <laughs> Rat's about to get murked. <laughs> <laughs> Big rip right there. Rat just got screwed up. Looks like the bitrate kind of freaked out right here for the download. But that's okay. Nothing crazy right there. So then we got this. Definitely looks like some kind of dungeon or temple. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's just there's bridge. There's all the luminosity, lumen, whatever the heck they're called. They're very open. Yeah. Oh, and here we get a nice shot of uh, Zelda's haircut. Yeah, she got a new haircut, which is interesting. Um, it's pretty short. What about their bodies? Do you see anything different that they're wearing? It looks like Link's wearing like a new like a uh, like strap thing. Yeah. He, he has the master yeah. sword. He has the master sword. You can see that? I mean. So I mean, this this is. I feel like this is definitely taking place i mean i know it's a sequel but like it's not a sequel prequel like this yeah. is almost definitely taking place after yeah breath of the wild it could or it could be before the hundred years of sleep when they were traveling maybe but i mean zelda's haircut i don't know you, i feel like yeah. this this is probably afterwards because we don't see any of the champions um true which means they're you know big rip um, they're all still dead, or whatever goes to form. Yeah, so this is this weird swirl thing. This weird, like, monk lady that's dead. It's, I'm getting some, like, Tomb Raider vibes here. <laughs> like, for sure. Um, yeah, look at this. So what's interesting right here, this is the Gerudo symbol. Yep. And this is on her necklace or something i can't tell yet her or it could you know i mean i had initially thought it was a her but i don't know i mean this this it's could be ganon that we're looking at right now resurrecting like, yeah it could it could just be him like the I physical mean, form just really long hair the physical form of ganon resurrecting after like the the calamity ganon was destroyed yeah i'm not i mean that's kind of, that's what i'm thinking i find it hard to believe it's just some random Gerudo. It could be. Oh, this is interesting. This looks just like the uh, the Ganon design that we saw in all the bosses. Yeah. This weird art. Well, it looks like they have a consistent theme. But this is interesting. It looks like there's a hand, a different hand, pulling on the dead corpse. I don't, I can't tell if like there's something bad going on here, or if that hand is like maybe some countermeasure put in place that's been oh. trying to keep this evil like lot under wrap you know what i mean it keeps doing it. so that's a quick little shot Let's try it right here so this i don't know from the long hair it looks like a female yeah it, it kind of does but i mean it also you know it's giving me series re-dead vibes yeah and yeah in that state it's kind of too hard to tell mm-hmm Really, I mean, I, I still think it might be... It could be Ganon, Ganon. The yeah. Looks red. It looks almost red, yeah, you're right. And he has that, uh, or she has that, that, uh, like, what do you call it? Like, crown? Yeah. There are the, the headband that's, that's similar to Twilight Princess. So yeah, it could, it could be Ganon. It, the stance kind of looks like it's male i don't know like the the muscle flight i don't really know i'm just speculating it's a little hard to tell still yeah his or her other hand is up in the air over here yeah i really just want to know like like i said if that's a countermeasure or if that's something that uh -huh. oh is was Link's... put in place to revive is this link's hand now yeah that's definitely his hand so before were we seeing links this isn't link's hand is it 
No, that's not Link. I don't but think that's Link's hand. It, there's there's some kind of similarity here. That you, well, yeah, because the there's energy blue, yeah. is the it's the same color. Now I feel like this is happening. This might be a different time. This is not the exact time that that other shot just happened. This is before or after. It kind of doesn't seem to flow. Yeah. In my opinion, just, like how we is have no Link... idea. Uh, the these shots may not be probably aren't in uh -huh. chronological order. But there's something up with his hand, which does resemble, you know, the Triforce on the back of the hand, on the back of the palm. Mm -hmm. If he's harnessing its powers right now. Yeah. I don't think we saw him well. We've definitely never seen him use it like this before. No. This is cool. So it looks like he's falling. This, so then, I guess he was trying to stop this thing. It might be Ganon, if he's trying to stop the resurrection of Ganon. Yeah. Um... So this little, the, the red evil gas is spreading. Um, classic hand-in-hand -hand moment with Zelda and uh, Link. That's definitely Zelda and Link. Always got to throw one of those shots in there. But look at this. It's like an outside of a temple. I'm yeah. pretty sure this is like a dungeon. <laughs> or a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Water Temple 2, confirm. Oh, wait, Water Temple like 50. Let's be real here. Oh, now this is interesting. I didn't notice this the first time I watched it. This is that sentient hand we saw pulling on the corpse, but now it's grabbing Link's hand. I think that hand, I mean, obviously this is complete speculation, might have been something put in place that was trying to keep Ganon or whatever that evil entity was mm -hmm. locked away, and it's helping Link here. Because yeah. it's it would seem kind of odd to me that if it was evil, it would be potentially saving him right now you know what i mean unless they need him for some ritual i guess but either way it definitely needs to cut his fingernails <laughs> those are some long boys right there <laughs> link's doing good on his end though so it's grabbing link i'm not so so this is after link had fallen in that previous shot yeah. and so it's grabbing Link. yeah the way it's grabbing him i i feel like almost <clears throat> definitely that this is something good or and not an evil. it makes Link super evil and we get Dark Link. That'd be cool. <laughs> and we play Zelda the whole game. Wouldn't that be wild? Okay, well, don't don't get your hopes. <laughs> is is the corpse? Is that is that a corpse standing up? I can't really tell. The same corpse. Uh. Whoa. Mm. That's Look at that Ganon. shadow. That's yeah, gotta that's be Ganon. That's, that it has to be. Look at that. The mouth. The hair. Like that. Yeah, the way he. The way he's like in pain or like yelling uh -huh. and that hand reaching down. The hand reaching down uh -huh. may very well be. The hand that's like you know was on his chest the hand that was grabbing the link it doesn't so I, i'm that sentient hand to me kind of feels like evil i'm not yeah i mean I'm not this sure. shot it, it's really all over the place you might be right it could be good or it's just a hand and we're overthinking it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i i think undoubtedly this is this has got to be ganon now yeah it does look i mean yeah it, it does look a lot like him in the shadow fades away oh wait, it's getting that weird sepa vibe color and i i'm guessing that shot right uh -huh. there was like um like what happened back when all of this went down you know it looks like a vintage shot yeah like this was what happened before you know like maybe when they were sealing him away or maybe he was sealing himself away waiting for the time to resurrect himself maybe the entire existence of breath of the wild had a calamity ganon it never had a humanoid ganon right so we don't really we don't really know if there's a human ganon or if that's been long like forgotten right yeah. but as we know in the zelda universe they always come back to bite you <laughs> something sealed away breath of the wild had this calamity ganon and it was the essence of ganon's physical being trying to like resurrect himself or emerge it, it was just like complete pure evil ganon nothing good right right and we know that ganon's not 100 percent completely like fucking <laughs> vile he's he's human in a sense or gerudo in a sense right yeah this is showing the more human form he's in pain it looks like and and that is when he was still more of a mortal being yeah exactly i'm not saying he's good in any way i'm just saying he's mortal and it looks like the Calamity Ganon was like a leak from that, from his humanoid form trapped somewhere, wherever that is. It looks like in this 
dungeon yeah, temple. Yeah, that's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah, because there's all the the all the like, these red gas. It, it looks just like the, uh, and it's supposed to look just like Clam Ganon's vibe. Again, speculation, but this is a really cool shot. Um, Link's got some boots. Nice. Um, Zelda and Link just chilling. There's some smoke on the ground. Up oh, the floor is dropping. I don't know if I'd say they're just chilling. It looks like they're in a. Uh, they're falling. Pretty hot right water now. right now. It looks like the floor just dropped out from underneath them. Yep, there goes Zelda. But now she's fine because that's a different shot. Um, <laughs> it looks like they just approached it. So it looks like they cut this trailer all over the place. Oh, now it's moving. See the fingers? Yep, got a finger twitch. Yep, maybe it is after. I'm not sure. Classic Zelda turnaround. Help me, Link. <laughs> Just like before, one hand on the chest, yeah. Class. Yeah, this is red hair. 100%. 100%. Yeah, that's Ganon. So it looks like we got a new humanoid Ganon. Interesting. Is it falling? I can't tell. I think I... it's just tilting its head back. Oh, there it is. I was looking at it the wrong way. Yeah, now we get a nice close-up. This is a male. This is 100% this is red hair. This is Ganon. It's gotta be Ganon. We... I, I feel like, like 90% positive it's canon yeah you got the gerudo like i mean there's yeah unless it's uh unless they're introducing a new character that looks just like him female ganon all right let me throw this at you urbosa urbosa's I actually, dead i was kind of thinking about that but like she wasn't evil evil but so, everyone, I don't it doesn't think... mean skull and, like, we haven't really, like, it looks evil, and it's made to look evil, but does that mean it's evil? Like, a dead person's gonna look like a dead person. I don't think so. I mean, the shadow shot, I felt like any doubts that we had when we saw the shadows on the walls, that was not Urposa. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Well, let's, let's go with Ganon for now. It's gotta be Ganon. And he's coming up. I don't think Arbosa had these sharp teeth. No. So that probably debunks that theory. Um, he's got some earrings. Yeah, this this undoubtedly looks like Ganon. I'm just gonna keep going. He's moving his head, and I think the eyes light up. Up oh, there we go. And bam. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty horrifying. That's fucked <laughs> up. And these look just like those eye things that are in a lot of the the first game. The ones you have to shoot to destroy the matter. Oh yeah, that's. I'm gonna <laughs> like if there was any yeah. doubt that this guy may not have been evil. Definitely evil. Yeah, that's Gan. His eyes are fucking <laughs> tweaking out right there. Um. So this confirms that it's the same world. Yeah. But here's and judging by like yeah. the ruin, some of the ruins you can kind of see there. This is probably not. A prequel. This is almost def. I mean, it's got to be. A this is 100% a sequel. It just makes sense. Um, it does, and it also looks like that there's no calamity Ganon swirling around on the, uh, on the castle. Now this is interesting. This was probably the most interesting shot of the whole, the whole trailer. You see the whole castle. It looks like it's gonna f fall. Oh wait, it's going up. Yeah, so it's red. I think now that that, the... that looks just like Ocarina of Time. <laughs> That's why. Yeah, actually, you're right. That I didn't even make that connection, but you're right. That does is very reminiscent of the floating after castle. The over, yep, over the pit of lava. Yeah, that'd be cool. So the dungeon they're in, where this is all going down, uh -huh. it seems like it's he's been sealed away yeah. underneath the castle this whole time. Maybe, right? But we. The final boss fight was in like the bottom bottom of the castle, kind of. I don't really know. It, it, it drops down. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's true. But we don't really, like, it could be that, underneath that's the That's true. It could have been going down somewhere else, and this is just an after effect of uh -huh. Uh -huh. him being resurrected. Now, what I really want to see, because how are they going to rehab? Like, you can't make Breath of the Wild 2 and use the exact same world, because that's boring. Like... No one wants to explore the exact same world over again with just different stuff. Like, that, that'd be DLC. Well, there may not be as much. It might still be open world, but there may be less emphasis on 
exploring the open world and more emphasis on dungeons and stuff now. No one's gonna want to return to the exact same world. Well, depending That's on how long it takes for. place after Breath of the Wild, now that like the lands are more or less pretty peaceful again, uh -huh. maybe, you know, it's like the human or just the normal civilization is starting to rebound. We've got towns starting to pop up mm -hmm. and regrow in places where, you know, there weren't any because it was too dangerous. There might be more travelers and stuff out on the roads, you know, like more kind of life. Maybe. And I'm going to say this, and I know Breath of the Wild broke all Zelda conven conventions. However, have we ever seen a Zelda game return to the exact same world? Uh, <laughs> not really. Yeah, so here's my thought. What if, right, this is just like an intro shot, just showing that it's the same world, but the entirety of the game takes place in low rule. Yeah, another dimension. Like that a would... dark version of Hyrule, where everything's that just a little make... bit different. That could make sense. Although it it would also kind of feel like they're rehashing. Well, I mean, it's better than like the same. Between worlds, kind of. Well, I mean, it's a Zelda concept. I, I mean, how many times have they recreated Hyrule, right? Like, I mean. Yeah, you're right. And there's a lot of possibilities to do that in this game engine. You know, a lot of things they could do. Imagine a giant, open, dark Hyrule. Just like Breath of the Wild, but everything's all fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, that would put a very interesting twist on it. Yeah, but I I'm thinking they're going to do something drastic with the world. I don't know. Or it barely takes place in Hyrule at all, and they're going to literally a completely different dimension. I yeah. mean, I guess we don't really know yet, but I agree with you that it's probably not just going to be... Otherwise, that'd feel like almost just the same game. Mm -hmm. It'd feel like a DLC as opposed it, to... That's a exactly DLC. what I'm saying. And then they said that this is not a DLC. So we just got some more swirly light worms going off here. Wiggle, wiggle. I think that might be the end of the trailer. Yep, there you go. Yeah. The sequel to Breath of the Wild. And the other interesting thing is uh, that, you know, I've already seen thrown around a lot today in comments and whatnot. Is people wondering if there's going to be co-op? Probably not, or but more likely, maybe if you'll be switching between characters. So something maybe like if the you'll Last even be us. playing just as Zelda. That'd be cool. Which could they could maybe get around having it be in a similar world, but now you're playing with Zelda, so mm -hmm. there's like kind of different game mechanics, I guess, because you don't have all the same capabilities you had with Link. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm just completely, you know spitballing here. That may not be it at all, but considering she's featured so prominently traveling with Link in this trailer, I find it hard to believe it's going to be, oh, she gets trapped and then it's just like a, a typical Zelda story, you know what I mean? It looks like this game is going to be different. It's a different story. And it's not Link saves Zelda. I mean, that might be part of the game, but it's not focused entirely around that. It's also focused on stopping this evil, right? And, yeah. I mean, a better comparison there would probably be Ocarina of Time of Jorah's Mask. Like, there's no way that this cannot be compared to Majora's Mask in Ocarina of Time. And I, and I, I, I called it. I, I called it, like, for months. And I knew, I knew this was going to show up at E3. I knew it. And to anybody watching, he's not making that up. He did suggest them doing a Majora's Mask, you know, S. sequel just a couple years after this game came out. Exactly. And, and we got... Rather than... Yeah. Because the last set of other games, there have been years between the main line. This is game. this is two years from the release. We saw two years from the release. We have a new trailer. Now, if we look at the timeline, uh, Skyward Sword came out in 2011, and we didn't see a tr any kind of trailer for Breath of the Wild until 2014. Now that's three years, right? And even yeah. then, we knew that they were developing a new physics engine. But here, and even then, it took another three years for the game to come out. <laughs> exactly. Here, they're gonna—they're definitely gonna be using a lot of the same engine, so mm -hmm. it won't take. Them they're doing long. exactly what I said. They're using the same textures, they're using the same engine, and they're just building a new world with it. And that is the smartest thing Nintendo can do right now, because it cuts their development time by half, maybe by three times. The amount it would have taken if they had to start over and make another completely new engine, completely new game. They're definitely adding to it. They're going to be adding new physics mechanics, new textures, and new locations and stuff like that. Everything we see in this trailer 
already kind of exists in the old game. There's nothing that I can think that looks new, like that we that's drastically different. Do you agree? Yeah. I mean, there's different stuff. I mean, obviously they're gonna. It, they're, it's not. They're not gonna use the exact same assets and only those assets. There's obviously gonna be new stuff. I mean, we've already yeah. seen that. But this floating, but this floating green stuff looks just like in the shrines. There's enough pre-existing assets that they can reuse uh -huh. and artwork that they've done. That, yeah, it won't take them this long to yeah. make everything. Majora's Mask did these exact same thing. The same textures, same models, different world, and they got it done in a year. Obviously, this is way more high level, bigger scale, so it's gonna take them a few years. But I'm gonna put the timeline on it. This comes out 2021. I'd say 2021 at the latest. Yeah, probably. Be, I would be shocked if they released it any later than that. And even then, that'd be like early 2021, I bet. Yeah. I don't think at that point it would take them four years between the release of Breath of the Wild and this game to release it. Like, that seems like a pretty long time. That's true. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to complain because just the fact that they've not only announced it, but shown us a full you know, over a minute long trailer yeah, is amazing. Yeah. So I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I'd be very surprised if it did take them four years <laughs> to make a story. Games. You know, they could be doing right. something very ambitious where they spend a lot of time on new assets and a new world. I mean, I would imagine the story is probably but the story is the focus. It'd be kind of ballsy for them to do this whole release if they don't have the story mostly ironed out at this point. If any, if just one thing comes across to me on this trailer, it's that this is a story. Like, if, if you compare this to all the Breath of the Wild trailers we saw, the Breath of the Wild trailers were just sweeping through the world. Yeah, this is all true. taking place in one scene. And there and yeah, there was a lot less emphasis on the story, and it was more on the world. Mm -hmm. Th this is this has got to be a story game, and I'm so excited for that. I'm always cautious with the hype train, and this is the real start to the new hype train. And honestly, that's the most fun part. So you're cautious about the hype train, but you're going to jump on anyways? I always jump on. I mean, it's Zelda, <laughs> you know. And I jumped on to this hype train. And the reason why I'm so happy is because when I jumped onto the hype train last time, which was like seven years long, <laughs> it paid off. It paid off big time. That doesn't happen that often in the no, video game industry. But it so. happens with Zelda. And that's a fact. I don't know if I have anything else to say. Uh, I'm just excited for this new game. I am too. Anyway, all right. Uh, thanks for joining me, Harry. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, your opinions, and please subscribe and like the video. Thanks. Bye.